Hello YouTube, it's Erba here and today I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to reduce lag and improve your connection for both Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Now before I go ahead and get into the information, I want to let you guys know about a giveaway that I'm doing right now for a pair of Control Freaks. If you guys want to go ahead and get entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and comment down below with which console you guys play on, and I'll go ahead and choose a random winner in about a week or so that's been showing support on the channel. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I want to start off by saying that there's no tips in the world that can turn awful internet into amazing internet. However, the basic tips that I'm going to give you guys today will make the most out of your connection. Now, the number one thing that you want to do is to switch to a wired connection. The difference between wired and wireless is insane, and if you're able to use an ethernet cable, you definitely should. Now, for those of you that have your router on a different floor, or maybe you just can't get your ethernet cable to your console for some reason, then I would suggest getting a Wi-Fi extender. I think they cost around $30, which is kind of expensive, but it will make your wireless connection a lot stronger. It won't be as good as wired, but it will definitely be better than what it was. Now, the second tip I have for you guys is to make sure nobody is using the internet while you're playing. If multiple people are connected to your Wi-Fi, then they're probably eating up your base bandwidth and causing you to lag while you play. Now this might be difficult for people who have a large family or if you guys have a lot of friends over or whatever, but go ahead and do your best to limit the amount of people that are using your internet while you're gaming. The third tip I have for you guys is to make sure that you're power cycling your router at least once a week. Now I tend to do this every few days and all you have to do is just go ahead and unplug it right from the wall for about 30 seconds and then plug it right back in and this just freshens everything up and helps reduce lag and any connection issues you may have. And now for the final tip I have for you guys is to purchase a NetDuma gaming router. Now this video isn't sponsored, they're not paying me or anything like that, however I do have one and I absolutely love it. The things cost like $200, which is very pricey for a router, however if you're a hardcore gamer and connection is very important to you, then I highly suggest you guys buy one. The router has so many features such as a bandwidth limiter, a geo filter, a built in VPN, and just so much more. I actually did a review on my channel a while ago, which I'll go ahead and link down in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out i suggest you guys do but that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully these tips help improve your connection while you're playing call of duty and if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and stick around and see all my future content i plan on pumping out a ton of infinite warfare content for you guys in the very near future uh, but yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and have a great day peace